They have a right to come to check and ask me questions, but they got no right to push me out from my own home. The idea of dogs being man's best friend may have escalated into an abusive relationship, according to dog rescuers and some neighbors to this home in Sheepshead Bay, Brooklyn. These dogs are taken out of a hoarding house filled with nothing but garbage and feces, and the dogs weren't really taken well care of. Some of them were had fleas, sores, cuts. 64-year-old Koja Suspit and his wife Pat Lim were accused of hoarding 23 Shetland sheepdogs. I just told them now, they took a dog. I said, why are you taking my dog? He said, we got to check him. You got nothing to check him, the dog is okay. Animal care and control officials arrived at their home on Avenue Y Thursday morning to remove and evaluate all 10 sheepdogs that they were cohabitating with. Stuff inside is my wild level stuff. They don't look, it's not a garbage. Just a few blocks away, 13 more pooches were removed from a separate home that was boarded up with no electricity or running water. The dog breeder defended the reported frigid conditions in this home. No, they don't need it. They're not cold. She's staying with them. She's not cold. She's sleeping with them all the night. She's not cold. Here, yeah, they're sleeping with me. Here, yeah. how I'm not fucking sick. Julie C., whose last name she did not want to reveal, is a dog rescue volunteer who made it her two-year mission to make sure the stable of sheepdogs received proper care. We've taken those dogs. We know they're, uh, they're underweight, they're flea infested, they're anemic. She first met Suspit in 2004 as a volunteer retrieving 10 dogs from Suspit's house. The rescue I volunteered with at the time that took them bought the HPCA, and we thought that was it. The HPCA was taking care of getting the rest of the dogs out. Six years later, she will receive another phone call regarding a rescue from the same house. This time, 16 pooches were involved. For all these years, those dogs sat there. I have a license by city. City don't tell me, mother how many I got to have it. What, what are you going to tell me, how many I going to get it? It's not your business. In an effort to convince suspect that he needed help, Julie claims. He then handed me a bag with three five-week-old puppies in it plastic soccer bears like you would get in Paul Bounds or Passmark, yes. According to neighbors, Suspit has been breeding these dogs since the early 1990s. So as to say that the ASPCA had been monitoring the issue for some time. Julie filed the last lawsuit with the Brooklyn DA's office, who had the pups removed due to neglect. They have a right to come to check and ask me questions, but they got no right to push me out from my own home. For the New York Post, this is Daryl Harrison.